Good morning, everybody. It's very early in the morning today. Um, it's the first Vid Grenier that I'll be attending this year, so I'm very excited. It's the first time they've started to open up in my area. So, yeah, let's go and see what I can find. I'm getting quite excited. Uh, the glasses are on because it's early in the morning. I haven't quite woken up yet, so they might come off later. So, we're off to the boot sale. Let's go grab some bargains. I'd just like to welcome all of you that are new to my channel and all those that have subscribed and been following me. I hope you are enjoying it. I'm enjoying doing it, so I'm getting out and about and recording places, which is good. So, yeah. What a beautiful view. Normally see a few more cars about. Still can't find the boot cell. Well, I think I've found it. It's the world's best kept secret. <laughs> I've really hid this one away. Anyway, I think we're there, so I'm going in. Not sure whether I can film. Vid Grenier is on, I'm going in, so I might have to be a bit discreet, but it's a beautiful setting. I hope you enjoy it. Well, it was on, I found it. Found a great location as well that's not too far from me. So that was really interesting. Uh, got a couple of bargains I'll share with you once I return back to my house. So yeah, a really lovely morning. Let's go and have a quaz on. I've just pulled over and I wanted to show you this lovely, well, it's a beauty spot, I suppose. It's on a little river. It's very quiet, very beautiful. So we'll have a little walk around. I've actually fished this area and it's very peaceful all day long. Didn't catch nothing though. But I had a chance to unwind. This area is very popular with the youngsters. They all jump off of that bridge into the water like you do when you're young. We'll walk over the other side in a moment. And just here is a little floating pontoon to launch canoes and things like that here. Yeah, very peaceful, lovely place to just sit down and have a picnic. I believe this river flows into the area that I was just visiting at the Vid Grenier. I must get myself a canoe and maybe do canoe cam. <laughs> yeah, very very peaceful, tranquil. Right, let's get the other side of that bridge. It's very nice to just stop and listen and look. Cheap and easy to do. And there is the water mill. Fully functional, as you can see, it's turning. I dare say they've got that rigged up to a generator. That's really good for the environment. Constantly flowing. What a beautiful little place. I believe this dates back to Roman times. The placement of the, the bridge. Plenty of history, as you'd expect in France. Hello everybody. As you've guessed, 
I'm outside a depot vent, which is basically a thrift store. I've just been in and bought a few items. Um, the lady said it's okay for me to go in there and do some filming, so I shan't be talking too much in there. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of what I've bought and the other stuff they've got in there. Yeah, I've got some good things. So I'm just heading in there now. It might be a bit muffled because I've got my mask on. Here it goes. Always a selection of bikes. That's a nice barrel. Right, we're going in. As you can see, a good mixture of things. You can actually see the prices here. Now the system that they have here, it starts off high and every week it goes down. So I've managed to grab a few bargains. But as usual, you have to get down and search. Uh, this one for instance, 55 euros. I like the look of this, that'll go nice in the barn. Wow, look at that. It's the bottom part of a mortar and pestle. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's got a lion's head cast. A memorial shield. And it weighs an absolute ton. Some beautiful pieces in here. Very busy in here, I'm trying not to film people.
Hello, I'm back again. Yes? You have a very nice shop. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good bargains. Thank you. <laughs> I shall be back. That's the best shop in France. It is. Yes. <laughs> it is today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will come back with my friends next time. Okay. So these are the some of the items I've just purchased. I'll show you closer a bit later on. So I'll say thank you to the kind lady for letting me film. Thank you very much. And I will see you when I return once again. Yeah. So this is what I got. There's quite a good mixture. Ancient, ancient pots, can lays, cast iron, skillets, lids, and a watering can. Needs a little bit of work, but that's okay so let's get them in the boot let's get going on to our next one so it's a little bit noisy outside um, I don't know whether the sound quality is very good so I'm off to my next one now uh, I'm just gonna I don't know where I'm going I'm just gonna punch in the coordinates for the next brocan and then uh, just follow the GPS and uh, I'll let you know when I get there see you there circus is in town I hate circuses <laughs> so once again you find me outside of Brocan now this one is a beautiful building I've been in and bought my things already and I've asked the lady uh, if I could film in there she said if I'm quick I can go in there and film so I'm gonna scurry around and see what I can do for you I think you'll be impressed with this building now part of this was a museum and I'll show you the outside of that in a moment. I'll just show you the entrance. Beautiful iron gates. Lots of stone hand carved troughs. Those that have just seen my farm video will have seen the granite troughs and very similar to these. Beautiful, make lovely planters. So, here we go. There's all sorts here. Outside is obviously the heavy reclamation stuff. And I'll just pan up. And above the door, there's a sundial. Now on that sundial, I've just noticed that there's a date. And this building dates to 1606. Wow, now there's a bit of history for you. <laughs> right, and a beautiful little feature, look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna step back so you can get a better picture of it. It's like a little lookout tower. It's such a vast roof. It's hard to see the scale at the moment. Now I'm just going to pan around to the left. There's a beautiful archway, which I'd imagine goes into the courtyard. Now not many people film this. But she said if I hurried up, because there wasn't many people about, I'd be okay, so... Here goes. Look at that. Oak, iron studded gates. Keep out us English, <laughs> but we're back again. Right, I'm just gonna try and go inside and be a little bit discreet because there's people in there. So, mask on. Again, they've restored this building, it's beautiful. So, in we go. So, just on my way out now, my car's loaded up. I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of the surrounding outbuildings. There is things everywhere, you really have to root round. Just because it's outside don't mean it's it's had it. You just got to search, and that's what I like doing. 
once again look at these lovely stone troughs all hand carved the enormity of them is unbelievable I may have to get one of these one day make a nice water feature and paddle my feet around in it cool down on a hot day how nice would that be one of those pear cocktails <laughs> what do you think yeah not a bad idea eh Right, look at this beautiful door. Sorry about the noise. hoping you can see this the sun's in my eyes but it's a beautiful carved I don't actually know what it is it looks like the the piece above a fireplace but there's nothing above it so unless there was a building here before on the outside I'm not sure but it's beautifully carved and there's all lovely things inside I'll say sorry about the filming I've got to show you this, if I can get a good picture of this. So yeah, wow, look at this. Old museum. There's a beautiful exterior, stone staircase, beautiful bell, it's just beautiful. Now the proprietors of the antique shop have took it over. Brilliant. How about this for an entrance? Some initials there. Let's have a look. AP. Even the lighting, the street lighting for the car park is beautiful. Antique, cast iron. They're enormous. Sorry about the road noise, we're right on a busy busy main road, but look at that. It's glorious. Now that's how you light a car park up. And there's the armorial plaque for the town. Just to give you the scale, it's really, really impressive. So, that's me done. I'm all shopped out, all spent out, and I'm very, very hungry and thirsty, so let's get going. I believe they carry out marriage ceremonies there. Not a bad place to tie the knot. I've just stopped off to stretch me legs, and look what I've found. Beautiful little preserved bread oven. Uh, let's get a better shot from round here. Look at this. How pretty is that? Now let's just get a bit closer. And there's the chimney. And then down below. Through there. Wow, it's a complete, fully working bread oven. Terracotta floor. Beautiful that is. Let's give me some ideas. A lovely timber work. Let's just come round here on top of the ceiling of the bread oven is clay I think they call it tool she there's some straw or something with it but yeah they look good might have to do that on my barn clad them with a bit of stone 
And then we just pan up to show you the rear of the roof. All the principles of the joinery are the same as my barn. It's a bit of a mini A-frame there. <laughs> Beautiful pegged joints. You never know what you're going to see when you're having a drive around. Just got to have your eyes open. <laughs> And then just in the near distance is a stone trough and a wheel. Quite popular in this area for obvious reasons. That obvious reason is the fact that they make lots of cider around here. So that's what they use to, to crush the apples and pears. Beautiful. Beautiful evening. Nice to be out again. Right. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's get back in the car and get going.